Let me tell you about experiment subscriptions and installments module. This free module implements subscriptions and installments in an xCard based web shop and requires experiments application for PCI compliant credit card storing and processing. Subscriptions are set up as your other products in your xCard catalog. Subscription products need to be purchased through your regular checkout routine using an experiments payment method that supports tokenization. Customer's credit card will be stored and tokenized via experiments automatically, so you do not need to worry about PCI compliance issues. Customers can review their subscriptions and their front-end accounts using the subscriptions tab. They can check setup and subscription fees, also when the next subscription payment is going to be done. Check calendar for successful failed and future payments of a subscription. In the subscription calendar, a green box means a successful payment, a red one a failed payment, and a blue box a future payment. Besides, a customer can quickly find all orders associated with the subscription. Now let me guide you through how to set up a subscription product in Xcard Admin Backend. A subscription product is set up just like any other tangible or intangible product in Xcard. The difference is you need to put a tick into this is a subscription product checkbox. You can define a setup fee for a subscription or make it equal to zero. In this case, product purchase price will be set to a subscription payment fee. Then define billing period. It can be once a week, once a month, or once in a year, or on certain day of a week, of a month, or of a year. Then define subscription fee. Besides, you can limit subscription to certain number of installments. This is useful when a customer can't pay full price at once and asks you to divide the payment in installments. Now let's overview configuration of the module, which is pretty simple but addresses very important part of subscription management failed payments and repeat attempts. Here you can define number of rebuild attempts for a failed payment, how often to attempt a new payment in case of a failure. For example, once in a day, in two days, in a week, and so forth. Also, you can set up when to notify customer about a new payment coming soon. Searching for customer subscriptions is very easy too. All you need to do is to go into order section of your Xcard admin backend enter customer's name and specify that you would like to look for subscriptions only. And that's it. You see all subscription orders related to the customer.